Hello again. We are Blake Lovell, Max Barr, and Chris Lee here to do our weekly SEC basketball fantasy draft. We'll get into the rules. We'll get into a couple of other little things that you'll want to know as we get set to draft our teams. First of all, a reminder, this is brought to you by Bet Online. It's playoff time. The usual suspects are heading to Vegas for the championship. Our partner, Bet Online, is your number one source for football odds, stats, trends, and lines with everything from point spreads to hundreds of bets on everything from the coin toss to the color of Gatorade. Bet Online is the number one source for your championship wagering. Head to Bet Online, head and join today to get in on all the action. Bet Online, the game starts here. Well, before we go to this week, Max Barr. Max got a little spring in his step this morning. Hmm. A little smile on his face. Max, why might that be? Well, well, you know why that is, Chris. That is because yours truly has got his first win of the season with a high score, 377, new record, and a weekly high score of 110 from Janai Broom. We also had a single-game high score this week, Zakai Ziegler with 65 on Saturday. Um, real quick, if you aren't familiar – with our scoring, this is how we do it. Straight from ESPN's Fantasy Basketball. Uh, Three-pointers weighted the most, along with the defensive stuff like steals and blocks. Um, but also, if you just, you're efficient, you, you're going to score points. The more you miss, the more you go down. The more you turn it over, the more you go down. So that's how uh, the points are added up. We do we do a, uh, a game for, or we do the points for each game. If we go down... Uh, through each lineup, let's start with Blake. Blake, give me your uh, give me your thoughts on your team last week. We, we've already had to do this on our reaction video on Sunday, and Max just wants to make me re relive this again. I don't um, remember that. Yeah, I bet you don't. Um, look, Max, keep doing what you're doing here, buddy. Once again, you're back. I would just like to point out, as the data expert of this group, <laughs> the person who picks last scores the fewest points every week. It is without fail. So therefore, I will go the complaining route, just like another person uh, here on this particular show, and just tell you that if you pick last, you got no chance. Okay? Um, also helps or hurts that Trey Mitchell, Mr. Reliable, got me 20 points overall. Um, you know, and also I didn't have Mark Sears. So mm. let's call it what it is. I mean... You know, Jonas, they do underperformed on Chris's team. He'd have probably had 150 points on my team. But, <laughs> you know, Dalton Connect had his lowest scoring output of the season overall, fantasy wise. Zakai Ziegler took all your trash talk and shoved it right up. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to say about my team. We'll be fine because we're not picking last this week. So we'll be okay. Chris, Max, you know what's going on here? This this is like when an when a coach complains passive aggressively before a game about officiating, and, and just kind of sets. The, I feel like this is what Blake's doing, where he's not he's going to end up picking first. Yeah, we'll see. The randomizer doesn't lie. But real quick before we get there, Chris, you actually had a few nice picks late there with your your. Last few picks got a good production out of Grant Nelson with a 40, 40 piece on uh, his first game. What are what are your thoughts with your team? Actually had a few nice selections there, Chris. Well, nobody was beating you, but it, Grant Nelson not gotten in foul trouble and that walloping that Alabama put on Mississippi State. Then then it, I might have inched closer. And I think the big thing that hurt is Sean East mm. is I think banged up. Got got hurt early in that Vanderbilt game. Did not put much up there. Look, I don't think with good games you had such a great week that I don't think we were. I, I here's here's where here's what all went wrong for me. I was I wanted to take Reed Shepard a little higher than I did, but I thought y'all would all be down on him, so I hedged a little bit. I think I took um, I think I took Morella ahead of Shepard there, and and hmm. I think that's where the draft was won. Was me thinking you guys were lower on Reed Shepard than you than you were? It hey, every pick matters. You, every pick matters. And let's get to it because I know Blake is chomping at the bit here to get a new team and, and see if he picks first. So, without further ado, we do this how we always do this. Randomizer, you know the drill. 
Let's do it. And hey, hey, the randomizer don't lie. All right, the randomizer don't lie. We got our names listed and go. Whoa. Oh, yeah. for God's <laughs> sakes. <clears throat> to my broom. Let's just get it over with right now. No fault. All right, Janai Broom for Chris. First off the board. All right. Blake, you're not. Na- oh, wait, no. Blake, you're you pick last. Um, I will go- <laughs> this is so good. I will uh, go with a okay, and it's also important to remember, folks, no teams that only oh, played yeah. one one uh one time this week. Florida, Ole Miss, and Arkansas. A lot of fantasy players. That takes a lot of a lot of the options. Well, it we'll see. Okay, so there's a few teams that that only play once a week, but I'm going with a bounce back performance this week out of Dalton Connect. Um. All right, Blake. Mark Sears. Mark Sears. <laughs> He's got two road games this week. Two tough matchups on the road, but I got to take him. All right, my pick next. Yep. Let me find somebody else to pick. <laughs> we got him, Chris. Let me find another player out there. Interesting. An interesting setup we have here. It means he doesn't know what he's doing. Yep. He's stalling. What's the what's the shot clock on Blake here, Max? Yeah, we have to. We for, have to. for the viewers at home, let me just tell you. These things get edited down <laughs> because our man Blake does the pre-shot clock era stuff with his draft. I mean, we we will wait. I have I have time to go prepare an entire meal and down it <laughs> by the time this guy makes his picks. Are you done? <laughs> Question is, are you done? Because the time you were talking, I could have been making a pick. But you, you just wouldn't stop. When you're picking last, you already know your back's against the wall. So, but they got two great matchups this week against one of the bottom tier teams in the SEC ah. against a team that I think they're just really going to take it to. Um, but it's, it's a matter of who you're picking. Which one are you picking? Do I want to deny Chris the ultimate capability of picking the guy that he wanted last week? Do I want to take that away from him? You probably because we do. know Chris has given this guy an award for you. every You're spiteful. He probably vote Reed Shepard for coach of the year at this point. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's just what do I want to do? Do I want to take that away from him, or do I want to go another route with somebody else? You always want to spite me. That's what you want to do. You know it. Yeah, I we do. know it. Max. So knows it. therefore, because I do want to spite you, um, I feel like he's probably the better choice, but. Mm, yeah, I'll take Reed Shepard. Dang it. Mm. Okay. I, I got to give my man Blake his due here. Um, Because that's, that's two really good picks on the turn. I'm out for blood this week. <laughs> okay. I'm not here to win. Get it. I'm out for blood. All right, well, I'm going to go make a meal because you get eight picks before I get back to me. So... <laughs> Oh, do I do it? Because there's I'm gonna leave you a good some good picks here, Chris. Um, but oh, man, he's got some slow tempo games. That's the thing. Now I'm running into a. I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna give you guys. This is a terrible pick. This is a terrible pick. What are you doing? How are you already onto a terrible pick in pick number two? This should never happen. What are you Four doing? Four guys off the board. All right. I'm going to not do my terrible pick. I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with my gut. Welcome back to the squad, Wade Taylor. Dang it. Mm. Uh. Oh, man. Chris takes broom with his first, and now he's... On a second after a long layoff. Well, let's see. Hmm. I know if I make this pick. Well, I, I, I know I've got I've got two choices, and whichever I don't take, I'm pretty sure Blake is going to take. Well, you have two picks. You have two. Oh. 
Well, then I can <laughs> so, just keep like the finger right here and now. I'm not the next pick. <laughs> Max is the next pick. What are you talking about? I don't pick he's until been, the next like. Four picks ahead. <laughs> Wait, so Season's I get gonna two be picks over. right here. What, you get back I get the pick what again. mishmash of stuff did this man just say? I get two picks right now, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay, well then, then I'll make it easy. There are also games that are played on Saturday. Hey, thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate the reminder. One of those games is, in, is against Gonzaga. Okay, you're picking this Antonio man. Reeves. I will, Who's next? I'll take Reeves <laughs> and the other guy who I think Blake was going to take. Um, I'll take he, – he, he really – did a number on my team last week, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on this guy returning to form Jonas Adu. I wasn't gonna take Jonas Adu. Really? Once again, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and him try, trying to predict who we're gonna pick. All right, we, so we put this right? man on a on a cranky bent the minute he got the third pick. This is our fourth week. You got to give your enemy credit. I I think he made two really really good picks. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. I, this is like a backhanded. Make, hey, congratulations! Make. You got two picks eight years ago, and you took Mark Sears and Reed Shepard. What are you complaining yeah. about? I'm complaining about not getting Jonas A. Do. That's what I'm complaining about. All right. You just all right. I got one guy I want. Oh, man. All right. I'm gonna go. He got he got snagged from me last week. I'm making sure I get him this week. Give me Zakai Ziegler. Zakai Ziegler, the choice. Um, I wasn't gonna take him or anything. Um, yeah, you were. All right, so since you guys are stealing all the the good players that I wanted. Oh boy. Well, we've reached the desperation point of the thing here. Trey Mitchell's hurt, so I don't know what to do with him. Can you pick him? Can you not? I don't know if he's gonna play. I don't know if there's a rules in place. If he doesn't play, then, you know, I don't know. I don't know. The, the Trey Mitchell thing is just throwing me off here. Um, let's see. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Oh. This guy's got quite a week here. And considering that there's no way. Man, but he misses so many free throws. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got to play the averages here, so. Give me Tolu Smith is one of my picks. All right. Jalen Williams. Oh. oh. You're going back to Jalen. Aren't you up next? Am I up? Aren't we going back on the bounce on the turn? Oh, yeah. It's, it's me and then you have two, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, geez. I thought you were going to have two. Well, that changes things. Well, that changes things. And I'm going to I need a forward. All right. Come on. There's an obvious choice out there. I'm going to go. I don't know if it's your obvious choice, but. This guy's going to give you something. He I'm may not be. Matthews. Ah. He, he was one of the two that I had in that group. I did not think you were going to do that. Bully ball. That, that was my next pick. Was it? Well, not now. It was. Uh, and, and I was probably going to do it anyway, but the DJ Jeffries injury was kind of the yep. icing on the cake there. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, ooh, I might. I think we might have forgotten somebody. And I got two picks. Yes, you do. Thank you for reminding me. You remind me every half second. <laughs> it's because you're a repeat offender. I'm a first timer here. Trust me, we can do uh, Give me Jordan Wright and Rob Dillingham. Mm-hmm. Jordan Wright and Rob. Dilly dilly. Oh, is it back to me? All right. Oh, okay, so it's I'm down to two guys. No, three guys. I'm down to three guys, and I honestly could go with any three of them. Look at the schedules. Yeah, it's a no-brainer for me. Tom Cooper. Yeah, that was the other one I was considering. It just he just doesn't score enough. That's the problem. 
It don't matter. He's Mr. Big Shot when he's shooting. He's made. That's true. Does that does that count for bonus points though? Yes, plus seventeen. Doesn't. Okay. Well, you are the commissioner. So <laughs> great. So the one player's Ken Palm page that I pulled up is now off the board. So you guys, I'm gonna be here twenty minutes trying to find the next player because mm-hmm. Cooper was gonna be my pick. He's off the board. As if this was my gonna be any screwed. different. It's all over. No, I was about to run to the table and tell you my pick was Talon Cooper. I'd like to just take a huge risk, knowing that I'm not going to win anyways. I'd like to just like really risk this thing. <laughs> all right. I, I kind of want to go with one of the injured Kentucky players, and I don't know which one. <laughs> it's either DJ Wagner or Trey Mitchell. That's where we are for me in this pick. And everybody's going to say, why are you not picking one of these other guys or this and that? Because I think the upside with one of those guys is higher if they're on the floor than anybody else um, from a fantasy scoring perspective, not just who we like or who we think is the best player. So I just think though, both of those guys have the upside. So do I take a shot at this and just say, screw it. I'm on a two week losing streak. I've had to pick last for two straight weeks already getting stuck to me by the man. Do I just, you know, decide to say, you know what? Let's just take a chance. Now, the problem is, which guy do I take a chance on? Who cares? Trey Mitchell. Why not? Okay. Why not? Oh, a make or break of your draft, of the draft. Take a chance. Why not? If if Trey Mitchell does Trey Mitchell things, then we are, we're going to lose. We are. Well, hey, there's one thing. This is a, this is a GM that is loyal to his players. What is this? Four straight weeks now with Trey Mitchell. I think I had Mitchell one week or one week. No, yeah. I've had him every week. <laughs> oh, you week? have? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> had him every week. That's all right. So... I'm sticking with him. I, I'm sticking with him. Play through the back issues. He's got a favorable schedule, and you really can't go wrong. I think with two Kentucky players in some combination. So we we'll see if I got the right again, combination. Which two of us did. We have done it again. We have all doubled up on teammates. Um, let's run through the teams just real quick. Chris has Jordan Wright and then the pair of the Kentucky backcourt, Reeves and Dillingham. Then a nice front court, Adu and Broom. That's going to put up some numbers. Blake has the duo of Shepard and Mitchell, also with Sears as his point guard. And then Jalen Williams, who did nice last week, and Tolu Smith who can always put up some numbers, probably going to get a lot more usage with Jeffries out also. Um, and then my team, uh, Wade Taylor and Cooper are my backcourt. Then I doubled up on the Vols, Ziegler and Connect, and then Cam Matthews, Bully Ball, front runner, player of the year, uh, rounds out my front court. Um, let's do one that got snagged out in front of you, Chris. Oh, there was there was more than one. I was really hoping you wouldn't take Wade Taylor. Mm. Um, I, I was really hoping you wouldn't take Cam Matthews because those are picks you sniped right in front of me twice. And then I was debating between Cooper and Dillingham, and and I took Dillingham, and you took Cooper. And and I think I was hoping that Reed Shepard would make it back to me at six, but I think the way he played last week sort of sort of ended that. Um, the, the best guy, all right, let's do, let's do also do a guy you would have drafted had you had one more pick. Yep. Gosh, and I, I hate his schedule, but I think I would have gone Aaron Estrada or, or Grant Nelson. Take, take your pick. Blake. Did you see how long it took me to pick my last pick and you guys want me to come up with the next pick? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't well, know. Let me I let me no interject idea. here. This this is what made the draft so tough. It was unfavorable schedules. It was the fact that basically with one game, and that being at South Carolina, you took Flanagan, Morrell, Murray off the board, Florida off the board with its only game being Auburn. That that took Samuel and Clayton off the list. Tremont Mark would have been on my short list for pick. He's got one game. And then you've got the Mitchell injury. I think that Sean East would have gone off the board had he not left the Vandy game and he came back, but he didn't play anywhere near what we get from Sean East, which kind of takes maybe takes Tamar Bates out of it too. If you don't have a 
another guy in the backcourt to attract defenses. So this this draft, I thought the top five were pretty clear. From that point on, it was a little bit of a mess. Yeah, Chris, you snagged uh, Jordan Wright. I thought I was I was going to take him also as a guard. Um, but I agree with you. I was gonna I was debating on Estrada uh, for that for that last pick there. Him, I was between. Aaron Estrada, Talon Cooper, and Josh Hubbard uh, for that last pick, but I had to go with I had to go with Cooper. I like his schedule, um, but Alabama has to play two straight road games against decent defenses, so that that led me away from Estrada. But he was he was in the wheelhouse. Um, so yeah, has have the Monstars right. lost the locker room, Chris? Have they lost the locker room? Turning against the coach? I think that I think. The coach has just planted a huge chemistry. Of course, what he's done, he says, guys, I don't believe in you. I'm making excuses before we even play the games. I think there's that is not a winning some, formula. Some issues at the higher ups over there. I honestly I'm I'm shocked. I thought my man was smarter than that. Mm. He's always been shrewd. He let his guard down. He let his negative nature get the best of him. And it's going to infect his team now. Mm. Well, what do you know? Chris getting another prediction wrong. Oh. <laughs> maybe there's a strategy to what I'm doing here. Maybe there's a strategy because maybe, just maybe, Trey Mitchell, Tolu Smith, Mark Sears, Reed Shepard, Jalen Williams are all out there watching this fantasy draft right now. And they all know that just what I said on the clipboard before the game, it's time to start the plan. The annexation of Puerto Rico from the little giants. We are going to run the play. It's time to run the play, boys. I drafted what may be the greatest fantasy team in the history of our league. And we are about to show all of you that you can rig the draft. You can do whatever you want to do. But when you got the five players that I just drafted, all that collusion doesn't matter. It's about the sport, the basketball, the love of the game. Love and basketball, one might say. Boom. Boom. We've, we've pulled the U.S. territory into this now. Our back. Works for the little giants. It's going to work for the Monstars. All right? All right. I think that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> we, we hope you've enjoyed our fantasy draft presented by Bet Online. Uh, we'll be back to recap it next week at some point bludgeon each other with abuse oh all the all the fun stuff that comes with our channel best way to get that, that. <laughs> hit the subscribe button hit the like button God. for blake lovell and max barm chris lee this is southeastern 14 presented by bet